commentary is on a mysterious masked man by the name of Gerald Legault, and this commentary was sent to me by an anonymous user, so I have no clue what's going on. Hopefully through the process of commenting on this, I can figure out this person's identity. Howdy folks, this is Gerald Legault here. I'm mm -mm. doing my first commentary today. Now mm, not off to a good start. The person that I'm doing my, this first commentary on goes by the name of the progressive liberal. I'm not trying to be mean because I know people don't have access to certain things, like you don't have access to like public libraries and electricity, but if you're not willing to put forth the effort to make your video not look like shit, then maybe your opinion and viewpoint isn't as necessary as you think it is. Formerly known as the liberal humanitarian and formerly known as Abby Gentry. And what's with that wood paneling behind you? It's like a creepy snuff film or something. In short, this is a little summary of the feud that's caused the video in, that we're t looking at today. So because this guy, whoever he is, doesn't know how to uh, speak like a person, let me sum up what he's trying to say. Basically, there is a small-time uh, YouTuber who is being harassed by somebody, and this YouTuber is claiming that the person that's harassing them is also a pedophile and a like sexual abuser and stuff like that. Um, and this video is Gerald Legault jumping to the accused pedophile's defense a pedophile, having child porn on his Twitter, and also abusing animals. All three of those accusations have one big thing in common. You have all three listed on your About Me section on Tinder. There is no evidence backing them up. On top of that, the person in question also likes to circle back in their arguments and reiterate the same dead point that they've been doing for, you know, the longest time now. So the person reiterating the same dead points and just circling back in their argument? That sounds like somebody... it's so familiar. So, in defense of Midnight Phantom, the person that she is addressing this video towards... So I'm not trying to be biased or whatever, but the idea of a video of a person who is trying to conceal their identity with a rebel flag behind them coming to the defense of an accused pedophile doesn't really paint them in a positive light. All three of which, as stated before, have one thing in common. They have no evidence backing them. You know, if you're willing to make a video coming to this person's defense, why wouldn't you have any proof that they're innocent? Jiggity jinkies, that makes you really thickety thinky, doesn't it? <laughs> On top of that, Abby, it doesn't matter whether he did it or not. Mm, you know, being accused of a pedophile, it kind of does matter if he did it or not. You're subscribed to all these anti-Christian channels. <laughs> um, I just noticed the fucking Raggedy Ann doll on the shelf behind your blinking lights. Like, is it Annabelle? Frankly, Abby, you do deserve this. You're trying to slander one of your critics with life-damaging accusations. So, pretty much at this point, anything that happens to you, you deserve. A person giving criticism doesn't always have that person's best interests in mind, you fucking idiot. Thanks and an apology not accepted. He never apologized. If you actually watched his video, you will very clearly see that he did not apologize. Here's what he actually said. Yeah, I'm not apologizing for my actions. <laughs> Okay, not to be, um, judgmental, but the fact that a guy who looks like this is being accused of being a pedophile is kind of not too surprising. Uh... What kind of fucking Dracula's dungeon are you recording that video in? It's not. Okay, here's some constructive criticism, and I don't mean constructive as in, I want to build you up, I mean constructive as in, you as a human being should know that this is a thing that you should do. If you're making a commentary on someone, nobody in the world gives a single fuck if you skip parts of the video, and you do not need to acknowledge it at any point, ever. When you make a commentary, just show the things that you want to talk about. Nobody will care that you skip the part where she talks about her fucking... her aunt's Vicodin addiction or something. Also, the fact that you pointed out that you were skipping parts of the video highlights the fact that you're kind of editing this, which also makes people suspect, hmm, maybe some of these things that she's saying are taken out of context. I will continue to make videos ripping you guys to shreds. That's implying that you've been ever come close to ripping them to shreds in the past. Mmm, <laughs> fuck, that was so funny, and there's no way that that phrase could have been shortened by a few words. Why do I not drink just all the time? This is awesome. Mark my words, you just... You've just unleashed a beast. Yeah, that's some beast they've unleashed. Speaking of unleashing beasts, you look like you came out of the puzzle box from Hellraiser. 
You guys fans of Hellraiser? Okay. The ones with Christy Cotton are still fucking good. The other ones are like not good. But Christy, Christy. <gasps> then when you do that, I will make a video on that one tearing you to shreds. What has Abby done that justifies the disproportionate amount of criticism that they've been giving? Because I've seen their channel and it seems like they've been hacked and attacked by a lot of people. And it's like, it's, girl, why? I should point out that I do not actually know all the details about what I am doing. I am just commenting on this commentary. And also, I am very handsome. Mark my words. Shut the fuck up, no one cares. Oh, I can't believe Gerald Legault, whoever he is, is a fan of Filthy Frank, the fucking worst person ever. I want to see Filthy Frank on the back of a milk carton. Well, thankfully, that's the end of that cringe fest video of hers. Cringe fest? Uh, one second. I just gotta look some up real quick. Hang on, give me one second. Well, Gerald Legault. This commentary that you're making was uploaded September 13th of this year. Which means that in 2016, you felt the need to use the word cringe fest. I don't know about you, but maybe take the red pill and get some fucking self-awareness. Anyways, guys, hope you liked this commentary. I'm sure all tens of your viewers loved it. It was my first commentary. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me how I did. Oh, I want to point out that in the description of this commentary, Gerald points out that this was scripted. Again. I want to point out again, this was scripted. What kind of fucking idiot scripts commentaries? I literally, I improvise basically everything I say, and look at me, I'm doing just fine. And sorry for the crappy video quality, but I- You're not sorry enough, apparently, to just not upload this or maybe record it with a better camera, because God, we just gotta hear what you think. So, with that said, thanks for watching, and have a good one. Ah, uh, God, I- I cannot figure out who this fucking dude is. I just can't, like, I don't know what's behind the mask, and I don't know if I want to know. I, I don't know, I gotta go clear my head or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a nap. Hopefully that'll help me figure out who this guy is. Be back in a little bit. Daryl? Hello, Cody. Are you real? I don't have much time. The identity of the mass YouTuber is right in front of you. What do you mean? Think back. You know the truth. Daryl, you're scaring me. The thing you're looking for has been deep inside you the whole time. Am I right, ladies? What? Oh no, it's just this thing that I started doing. I have to leave now. We'll see each other again soon, I swear. Damn it, I just can't figure it out. Who the fuck is this guy? It's, okay, so, he's trying to conceal his identity, and it got sent to me by an anonymous source. So does that mean that he's trying to hide his identity from me specifically? Why would he do that? Is it, am I supposed to recognize him? Just, oh my god. Wood paneling is making me sick. This is towards Cody Briscoe. Howdy folks, this is Gerald Legault here. I'm doing my first commentary today. I know who it is. I hope you got lots of awesome Christmas presents. I know I did. And like his creepy snuff film bedroom. I am forever alone and forever a virgin and proud. I just don't like you. I'm done with Miles Hidden 2 for good. This is towards Cody Briscoe. I'm done with Miles Hidden 2 for good. Cody Briscoe. Cody Briscoe.